this video I will introduce the Laplace transform. Um, the main idea of using the Laplace transform to solve a differential equation is to transform the differential equation for x of t into an algebraic equation for capital X of s. So to transform an equation in t space, differential equation in t space, to an algebraic equation in S space where it is easy to solve and then to transform the solution in S space back into T space. So to write that symbolically we have the T space here and we have S space here so we start with uh, the um, ODE for X of T, right? And we take that ODE and we transform it using the Laplace transform, which I'll denote by L, into uh, algebraic equation for uh, X of S right and then uh, in S space we solve for X of S which is easy because it's an algebraic equation and then we transform back to T space with the inverse Laplace transform to find X of T okay so the technique is uh, such that if the equation is easier to solve in S space, um, then we transform the ODE to S space and solve the equation and then transform back to T space. Okay. So the question is then uh, what is the Laplace transform that enables us to do this? So if we have a function um, uh, X of T say, then the Laplace transform of uh, X of T is what we're calling capital X of S and the definition that works very well for um, constant coefficient equations is the improper integral from 0 to infinity of E to the minus ST of X of T dt. So we integrate over t and the right hand side then is a function of s. And the reason this works well is because we know that the ansatz for solving the second order uh, constant coefficient equation is the exponential ansatz. And that enables um, this integral to transform the equation uh, uh, quite nicely. So um, we can find uh, tables of the Laplace transform. So L is uh, 1 to 1, which means that um, for every little x of t, there is one, only one capital X of S. And for every capital X of S, there's only one little x of t, right? So we have uh, L of uh, X of T equals capital X of S and L inverse of capital X of S equals X of T. Okay. Also uh, L is a linear transformation And the meaning of linear transformation is that L of C1 X1 of T plus C2 X2 of T is equal to C1 L of X1 of T plus C2 L of X2 of T. Okay? 
um, and that is just from the property of the integral which you can prove by substitution uh, also L inverse is a linear transformation so L is a linear transformation and uh, also uh, L inverse okay so that those are two useful properties okay so um, L is just an integral so we can find Laplace transforms of various functions uh, one does that by doing integration and you can end up with a uh, table which is in my lecture notes so um, th the Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s e to the a t is 1 over s minus a t to the n where n is in positive integer is n factorial over s to the n plus 1 and so on sine cosine hyperbolic sine hyperbolic cosine exponential times sine exponential times cosine polynomial times exponential these latter ones we'll discuss later and then finally what is the Laplace transform of the derivative of x with respect to time what is the Laplace transform of the second derivative of x with respect to time those two are needed in order to transform the differential equation so let's um, have a look at that if we want the Laplace transform of x dot of t we apply the definition the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st x dot of t dt so we want to write this Laplace transform in terms of the Laplace transform of x itself we have a exponential function times the derivative and uh, immediately when you see an equation like that you should use integration by parts because we want to uh, take the derivative off of x so that instead of x dot we'll have an x so we integrate by parts so um, u then we would put equal to e to the minus st and dv would be x dot of t dt right in a parts integration so then du equals minus s e to the minus st and v is equal to x right from the fundamental theorem of calculus so um, we have then the Laplace transform of x dot becomes with the parts integration uv e to the minus st times x of t from 0 to infinity minus the integral of v du since there's a minus sign here that becomes plus the integral from 0 to infinity uh, s times e to the minus st sorry the du of course is, is u is e to the minus st du is minus s e to the minus st dt right never forget that dt never write an integral without a dt so uh, s from 0 to infinity e to the minus st x of t v dt Um, the first term is the boundary term um, because uh, we're assuming that s is large enough that the Laplace transform converges uh, that means the integrand of the Laplace transform of x is e to the minus st times x of t and that needs to go to zero at infinity in order for the integral to converge so the upper in the upper limit here it necessarily must go to zero and then the lower limit 
becomes minus e to the 0, which is 1, minus x of 0, plus s. And this is right hand, this last term here is just the Laplace transform of x. Okay? So that tells us how to take the Laplace transform of x dot of t. Depends on uh, the initial condition, x of 0, and uh, plus s times the Laplace transform of x. Okay. Similarly, if we try the Laplace transform of x double dot of t, we have 0 to infinity, e to the minus st, x double dot of t dt. And again, we can use a um, integration by parts. So let u equals e to the minus st dv equals x double dot dt. So du is minus s e to the minus st dt. And v is x dot, right? So the integration by parts tells us the Laplace transform of x double dot is equal to uv e to the minus st x dot of t from 0 to infinity minus v du is plus s the integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus st x dot of t dt. Again, we're assuming that the Laplace transform of x dot exists, so the upper limit here should be 0. So we get minus the lower limit, or minus x dot of 0, plus s, and this is the Laplace transform of x dot, which we just derived, so plus s times minus x of 0 plus s times capital X of s. And putting this together, the Laplace transform of the second derivative then becomes minus x dot of 0 minus s x of 0 plus s squared times capital X of S. Okay? So, we do that once, and we put it in our table. So we have uh, x dot on line 15, and x double dot on line 16. Okay? So all of these calculations are uh, done once, and put in the table, and we can use the table from now on to do Laplace transform calculations.